Hey, what's up? My name is John, and uh, thank you for coming to my Science Scream Studios YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be going through some Ignite Amps uh, VST plugins loaded into uh, Reaper 5.9 over some DI tracks. Ignite Amps is a company out of Italy. They model VST uh, software according to the products that they actually make. So, um, I'm going to be going through how uh, they sound over the DI tracks one by one, and then after this, uh, Pretty much, I'm going to go through from uh, beginning to end so you can hear the whole song as it's laid out. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, read the description of the video because it contains links of all the gear that I use, and it'll be uh, helpful for you because it's easily laid out for you to find uh, gear that I use. So here we go. This is the left track. 100% pen left, dry DI only. This is how the VST sounds like, engaged. Right guitar and left guitar. Drums. Bass. Full mix. This is what's going on in the left guitar, which is paying 100% left. Right guitar is also 100% panned. Right, drums and bass, pan centered. First thing I have going on is a Reaper noise gate, because these VSTs can be a little bit noisy. Secondly, United Amps Tyrant Screamer, which is basically a modified tube screamer. Here are my settings, which is a uh, typical of tube screamer setup. Next, we have a Pro FET uh, preamp, distortion pedal, if you will. <clears throat> Here are my settings for that. Pretty typical with the shape engaged. <clears throat> Next, I have. Um, uh, uh, an IR response loader called a Mad IR, the Night Amp product again. Left guitar has a 441 Sennheiser mic. Right guitar has a 441 Sennheiser mic as well. Left mic is off axis while the right mic is centered. High pass is set to 131 hertz to take out all the hump and thump, which sounds nasty in the mix. Low pass is set to 15.4. Uh, kilohertz, sometimes I set it to 18 uh, kilohertz, depending on what's going on. Pretty much left and right track both have these settings. Lastly, I have this spectrum analyzer going on just to show me where I am in the frequency range. Plus, I kind of like how it looks, it's pretty cool. So, that's that. For the bass, this is the dry DI. This is how the VST sounds like. I'm using Easy Mix 2's Andy Sneep preset uh, called Extreme Cali Thrash Bass. I really didn't touch this down here. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, depending on how it sounds. And for the drums, I'm using Easy Drummer 2 with a metal preset. So this is how everything sounds like full mix. Sounds pretty damn good, I think. Guys, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think, how it sounds, where I can improve, whatever you want to uh, leave. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down, whatever. So, um, next I'm just going to go through from beginning to end. So, until uh, next time, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.